and he's motivated to hump everything. <laughs> this, he does not, he does not care. He loves everybody. quite the minute that I've been on YouTube, but I'm back and I've got some really good stuff for you today. Today's topic is how to push through when there's no motivation. Actually, yesterday I was at a meeting with F45. If you don't know, I am working with F45 Country Walk down in Miami. We still have it opened because of some permit issues and stuff like that, but hopefully soon we will be opening. Um, but we had a meeting and somebody told us, you know, as trainers, we need to motivate the people because if not, they can do it by themselves. They're obviously here because they need motivation. Um, and that actually had me thinking, which is why I decided to do this video the day after. Uh, everyone talks about motivation, motivation. Um, I need motivation to go to the gym and stuff. And yes, you do need motivation. Sorry, I was really thirsty. Um, you do need motivation to go to the gym. Obviously, you know, um, if you're not motivated, it is part of the puzzle. But I think that is the major issue. People rely on motivation to get them to the gym. Unfortunately, motivation is only going to get you so far. Motivation is only gonna be there for the very beginning when you're like pumped to go to the gym, you know, the January newbies, cause they're like, yeah, I wanna go to the gym and the gym is like so packed. And as weeks pass, the, the gym gets less and less packed and people just start dwindling out um, because they're just relying on, the, on that motivation. I have been working out consistently um, since I want to say since about 2010, I have been working out consistently. Um, prior to that, I started in eighth grade with my uh, best friend at the time and we were like on and off. We would go, we'd like get on the treadmill or whatever, do some classes. It was very really like nonchalant, no commitment, just kind of wanted to start working out, whatever. Um, I stayed on track and she kind of just twindled out and ever since then, you know, I've been on and off at the gym and it was finally in 2010. I started competing in um, Miss Florida competitions or beauty pageants is when I really dialed in and really got focused and really started enjoying fitness. So what I'm trying to get at is the number one thing that is gonna get you to the gym when there's no motivation because that is gonna be the first thing to go, is your motivation. You gotta have a goal, that's it. And it can be the smallest little goal. It doesn't have to be going to a beauty pageant. You don't have to compete in the next bodybuilding competition. What you want is to have a goal. It can be from, I want to lose you know, 20 pounds from here to the summer. I want to be able to wear a two-piece bikini in the summer. Anything like that. Whatever goal is to you, that is what's going to keep you going to the gym. If you just go to the gym to go, unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. And if you go to the gym because somebody else is forcing you and telling you to go to the gym because you think it's the right thing, that's not gonna work either. You need a goal to go to the gym. Um, I, at that time, had the goal of going to a pageant, but um, I understand that that's not everyone's goal and that's not everyone's situation. So any little small goal, whether it's drop a size, um, look good in your wedding dress, whatever it may be. Number two, you need discipline. This one is a tough one, but it is very, very, very important. You need discipline. Um, and discipline is not something that I can tell you that and then I'm just going to automatically make you guys through the camera have discipline. That's something that you need to learn over the years and kind of discipline yourself to have it. Um, it's 
you know, like you have the discipline of going to work every day and the responsibility. That's kind of how you have to look at it. It's, okay, this is, you know, I've got to go to the gym and this is what I got to get done and this is like my responsibility to myself. But at the same time, this goes on with number three, it shouldn't feel like a chore. It really shouldn't because as humans, we don't like things to feel like a chore, to feel um, hard, to feel ungratifying. We don't like that because we're gonna leave like this. So if you go to the gym and you constantly feel like it's the worst feeling in the world, uh, my husband is one, he hates it, uh, you're not gonna go. You're not gonna go. If you feel like other people are watching you or making fun of you, you're not gonna go. It's that's you know human nature and I completely and utterly understand and perhaps maybe the gym isn't for you because you do feel intimidated um, you know maybe you feel that you're a little bit overweight and people are just judging you right now there are other options what I want is for you not to just think that because you are intimidated of going to the gym that that's it all your options are done you're just gonna be unhealthy for the rest of your life and there's no like coming back from that and that's not true. There are so many other options. Perhaps you can do like an F45 class, an Orange Theory, boot camp class, workout from home. There's a lot of videos. Um, now Apple TV has a lot of things or even on the computer. I am doing my weekly workouts that are I'm currently transitioning and trying to incorporate a little bit more of home workouts because I do understand that not everybody is like me and that's completely okay. I want you to get healthy so number four do it for your health sometimes you know when you want to eat a pizza and you start getting in your head and you're kind of like poor me i've been on a diet all this time and honestly like what's it for you know to just look good who cares if people don't like what i look like then that's fine which is totally fine i mean if people don't like what you look like then they should not be in your life that's number one but Sometimes we like to get in our heads and feel sorry for ourselves and be like, I oh, the pizza. Which, hey, if you, that's the great thing about macro dieting is if you wanna have a pizza, you totally can because it doesn't limit you to anything. But if you sit there and have an entire box of pizza, that's when the problem starts. And that's when you kinda gotta look at it like, okay, is this really in my best interest health-wise to eat an entire box of pizza every single night? What nutrients are you really getting from that pizza? Is it something that your body is thanking you for, that your body needs, that your body craves? No. Um, that's another thing that you kind of got to get that mindset out of, I feel bad for me, poor me, let me, I deserve this pizza. And then before you know it, you're eating how you used to. But why? Because your mindset never shifted. It never shifted to think, okay, pizza tastes good, but what is it really doing for me? I can have the pizza, but let me have, you know, some veggies and some protein and some of the good stuff so my body, so I'm feeding my body what it needs and what it wants and what's good for it. And then I can have that pizza, you know, to satisfy my taste buds or whatever. That's kind of the mindset that you have to have on realizing that what you put in your body is for your health, not necessarily just because I wanna lose weight. Once you get out of that mindset of it's a diet and I'm only doing this for a while, and you realize, hey, wait, listen, you know, like I actually should be eating more vegetables because I feel so much better when I do. Um, but if I want to have a piece of chocolate, I can totally have a piece of chocolate because that's okay. So everything in moderation. If there's anything that I hope you got from this video is that motivation is not going to get you to the gym. It's your discipline, your mindset, and goals. Alright guys, I will catch you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!